Today, the Learning Network is going to take you back in time on this journey. We'll see what professional development used to look like. This data view here is how SCCA used to track professional learning. Also, back in the day, we only had one professional learning option. And to find outside professional learning options, you'd need to fire up the Google. Those were the methods SECA used to share learning with others. That was then. This is now. The notebook will allow viewers to customize their learning experience and select activities that best suit their interests. SECA is moving away from a check the box approach and transitioning to a, sim uh, a system that is meaningful, ongoing, and focused on professional goal attainment. Hey there, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of the professional learning notebook. Now, some of you have seen this already, and that's great, but Mary and I just wanted to uh, give you an overview as the creators. So this was built on the master, so you cannot delete the actual notebook, but you can customize the stickies, change the colors, make them bigger, make them smaller. You can add your Bitmoji, a picture of your family, however you want to personalize this to you or organize information so it is personally relevant. So you can track it in a chart, you can delete the chart, you can delete rows in the chart, um, you can link your manager to Facebook chats or things that you created, committees that you are on. Um, really, you can put anything in here that relates to your goal that has really helped your professional growth. These are all meant to be the same, so you can customize them if you want to. So you can make the stickies bigger, you can make them smaller, you can move them in, you can move them out. And then there's a My Happy Place page where you can add standout celebrations that you received from, your, uh, from an administrator, from a colleague. This is the school page. So here you'll see the goals, a video of our school structure. And then you'll have your department page that has the goals and other things that may be relevant to your department. And now here's just some sample goals that we added here to assist you with creating your own, but we will allow you to also share your goal uh, with your colleagues in your pod to kind of help one another just brainstorm those ideas since this is something you'll be working towards over the course of this year. And then here are all of the professional learning options. So you'll have a link to the Solution Tree Library, Read to Succeed, the TLN Session Catalog, and the Facebook group. So we would encourage you um, to please use these and explore these and select sessions, chats, or other materials um, that are most professionally relevant. When writing your goal, make sure it is measurable, attainable, and realistic. And if you need help creating a goal, talk with your manager, your PLC, or contact us to receive feedback. The Learning Network is excited to offer a variety of sessions to viewers, and there are a host of options uh, that are available, such as Solution Tree, Literacy, iReady, and the Pearson Course Lesson Tree. Offerings will continuously be added, so be sure to check the catalog periodically throughout the year. Let me show you the catalog. 
The catalog includes a brief detail of what is being presented. Now keep in mind, this is constantly being updated, but we encourage you to start exploring now to see what is offered that may pertain to your goal. Yes, we are so excited to have a fun new way to communicate and collaborate with the staff. The Learning Network Facebook group is for SCCA employees only. Every staff member must watch this video and agree to the terms of use before approval to join is granted. The purpose is to share ideas, participate in chats, and connect with teachers from all content areas and grade levels. All of you are doing awesome things and we want to highlight your voices and experiences. Only positive and school appro uh, appropriate posts will be approved. And if you have any questions about the Facebook group, please reach out to Michelle or me.